Hey, family, that's your boy, Cut Nice Fit. Welcome back to Ass High Nutritionist. This is the most anticipated video I done did yet. And we're talking about low testosterone levels in the U.S. today. And man, this topic, I got a lot of clients who suffer from it, uh, especially my diabetic clients, which a lot of people just don't know. If you are diabetic, you're obese, you got a high BPI, that does affect your t testosterone levels. But we're going to go into a video I seen now. I'm going to do a quick review of it, let y'all watch hear about some common uh, reasons and this uh, video got over a million something views um, from JJ Medicine and it's going to cover pretty much the same thing and it's not too long so um, I say I'll just go ahead and go over that and then hit some uh, talking points on the way um, but as you know man low test affects everybody men women all over the country especially if you're an athlete you're competing as we get older you know at the, after the age of 30 your test levels naturally start to decrease um, now it's difference between low test levels and free tests. That's a whole different ball game, but your total test starts to decrease in your body after the age of 30. Um, especially now I contributed all to how we eat today. Um, as far as like, uh, my pops and generations before us, they was more active, but they didn't have the access to all these fast food restaurants and other foods that we eat. And even though they didn't eat they're too healthy, they still didn't eat like we eat. We eat kind of horrible um, today. So with that being said, man, low test affects more than four to five million people. That's just in the U.S. Stats, man, don't lie. And uh, I think it was a poll. I read this article. Um, they presented in 2020, but this, I think the facts was from 1999 to two, 2006. They conducted a panel of men and um, young adults in the U.S. to see how many uh, it affect uh, for low to uh, tests. And I think it was um, from 15 to 39, that percentage now has raised to 20% in those. And that's our kids and all that. So if you got low tests, say you have a kid and stuff like that, genetics does play a part. They inherit that low testosterone. That's why you see fertility issues down the line now. Um, uh, kids who do, just don't have the muscle, they're smaller, they got more body fat and stuff like that. It is genetics does play a part, but you can pass that those issues on to your kids and and so forth and so forth. So, um, man, testosterone levels, it affects everything that you do from energy, um, gaining body fat, sex drive, um, or have, feeling good, just that you want to feel good. You want to be able to have the energy to do the things that you love. So I think um, that article that I read, I think it was a virtual conference. Normally they do stuff like this um, in person, but they, since they did it in 2020, you know, with the pandemic and stuff like that, you couldn't do it virtually. So I try to watch it. Um, there was an Amer American Urology, uh, Urological Association, and they did a virtual experience that was in 2020 with those stats from, that rose 20% in uh, ages of 15 and 39 years old. Um, but nearly, man, 39% of men 45 years and up have low testosterone. Now, this is not natural. I, I don't know if a lot of people know that. You can still, like I tell people, my clients all the time, you can eat good at times, but eating out every day, eating all this fast food, you're not rewarding yourself because you ain't treating your body right. Now, the only way you can get away with some more cheating than normal is if you're getting the water that you're getting. I doubt, I ask many of my clients all day, I say, okay, well, you ate all day, you're drinking alcohol, which also lowers your test, but how much How much water did you drink? If you ain't drinking a gallon to two gallons a day, you're not helping yourself out, especially if your diet is not clean. If you got a clean diet and you're just struggling eating uh, one um, gallon a day, then okay, that could be sufficient to you know to help your body stay metabolized and stuff like that but if you're not at the weight you need to be not really obese but if you're not you still got body fat i got body fat on me um but now i'm not doing like i used to do i used to bulk back in the day and go up i'm only at 235 now i used to go up to 260 275 the hair as i was was 365 when i played football so um when you're younger you can get away with a whole lot more but once you hit over that 30 remember those test levels start to drop if you're feeling sluggish you know noticing your body is not producing or you don't have the energy like you used to you don't want to even have sex you you know your wife wondering what's going on girlfriend stuff like that you just don't have that urge no more it's probably because you're having low test issues or your um hgh is starting to decrease also which is kind of like test similar but you lose that um as the older you get also so 
um, as far as gaining muscle and recovery and stuff like that. All those play a part in your body. So I just tell people, man, you don't just don't know how important it is to eat clean, eat uh, your fast food or your cheats in moderation, portion control, um, drink less alcohol, because all that stuff does affect your body and how you uh, break down foods. If you're not sleeping properly, that's a big issue because your body generally recovers when you sleep. So if you're not getting enough sleep, and I noticed this in the past when I played ball, I get up, train, do everything I got to do. I was still strong. I get by off of three hours of sleep, but I wasn't building the muscle that I could have if I was getting five to six hours. I never really had eight hours in my life of sleep like that, unless I was dead tired and stuff like that. Um, but imagine if you did prioritize sleep, I mean, we wouldn't have some of the issues that we have today because your body can repair, it can sleep, it can less injuries. It can do a whole lot with that sleep. So that is very important, especially to keep your test levels up, to keep your uh, HGH levels up and stuff like that. So I have a lot of clients lately, they've been reached out about TRT and stuff like that. I tell them, if you don't want to go the TRT right route, unless you have to, you know, some people, their levels got so low that they needed to, but it's um, a company. I'm, and I've been researching for the last two years. I came up with a whole natural supplement because I noticed my energy starting to um, fade a little bit. And I started taking them like, you know, zinc, magnesium, uh, uh, Oshawa, root, uh, tetra, uh, tetra, tetra, uh, it's like a tetra's plant. Um, it's natural ingredients, but to get the ingredients, you got to still measure your body weight. And as a nutritionist, you know, I'm going to do it, do the research, figure out what combinations work for your body weight, your height, um, your metabolic rate also, because that that all, all that plays a part in it, how much water you can, if you're physically active, all this net for those ingredients to work. And you can do it, but to get make you a natural supplement, it's going to be in the hundreds of dollars just to get the ingredients that you need. And now you, if you got to measure it out just for you to figure out what works. And this, I mean, it's just too much. Um, but it's a couple of companies that make test boosters. And most of that stuff just don't work. I found one company, um, I think Shaq started working with them, stuff like that. And they products, I broke down the science and everything. And it's legit. I mean, they actually work. So um, I'm trying to partner with them soon and just to, just to see what's going on. Because um, I think, this can help a lot of families help just not just the men to help young men, help athletes, help people who are physically active or just help people who just want to live a healthier lifestyle, who want to lose somebody fat, who want to gain a little bit of muscle and not necessarily just going in the gym to do it. Your body will just be naturally, your levels go up. You can naturally produce less body fat, break your calories, you burn more calories and stuff like that. So let's go into this uh, video review um, from JJ Medicine. Seven reasons for low test levels and go from there. Seven reasons for why someone might have low testosterone levels. So we're going to talk about seven causes of low testosterone. And we're also going to talk about ways we can increase testosterone levels. So one of the largest contributors to low testosterone levels is the chemical bisphenol A. And now bisphenol A is found in polycarbonate plastics. So an example would be plastic water bottles. So studies have shown that bisphenol A or BPA lowers testosterone levels in men. And it also lowers the levels of another androgen known as androstenedione. And it's also been shown that men that go to fertility clinics, nearly 90% have bisphenol A or BPA in their urine. So bisphenol I'm gonna interject right there. Like you see, plastic bottles, we all know this. Um how they used to make stuff back in the day. It don't matter what you do. As healthy as I am, as much water as I drink, I'm going to have this in my urine. I'm going to have this in my body because whatever we eat, we get it out of the plastic. So it's like a give and take. But if you get enough water, you're getting like your apple cider vinegar. You're getting the other toxins to remove this stuff out your body. You'll be okay. You can't just live a totally 100% healthier lifestyle without getting some kind of ailments and um, stuff that's bad for your body in there. But this is one thing that everybody, it affects everywhere, men and women, children, everybody. A is considered one of the largest contributors to low testosterone in men. So the second reason for low testosterone levels is being overweight or obese. And the reason is, is because if an individual has more adipose tissue or more fat, 
the adipose tissue contains an enzyme known as aromatase. And aromatase is actually an enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen. So and that's a good thing um, he just pointed out. Being overweight, you're going to convert test testosterone into estrogen, which is the thing that you want to do. It, your free test won't be able to get in your body. You you see men who just get a little heavier weight. They get the man boobs, as you call it, stuff like that. So estrogen is not a friend of us because you can't, it slows down pretty much your metabolism. It slows down a whole lot of stuff. It's just not, it's like, even if you got tests, estrogen is like a blocker. It's going to stop your body from inhibiting to use the test that you need to use for energy, muscle building, recovery, you name it, sex, everything else. So that's why you see common issues with people who are obese, they have lack of energy and stuff like that. It's not just because they're overweight, even though your body is overworking itself to compensate, you know, just to survive is in survival mode. I've been there. I was 365, but I still was active. I never stopped working out until I got hurt. And I, then I really started to feel it. So I lost more weight just to get back into it when I um, recover from an injury. But as you can see, man, estrogen, just pay attention to that. That's a big one. We actually reduce our testosterone levels by having more of this enzyme around. Now, there's also the uh, issue with diabetes. Now, when you're overweight or obese, it increases your risk of diabetes. And diabetes has also been shown to reduce testosterone levels. The third reason for low testosterone levels is reduced sleep. So, reduced sleep leads to increased cortisol levels or that stress hormone cortisol. And it also lowers morning testosterone levels. And in particular, studies have shown that reducing one's sleep in the second half of the night, so if we wake up earlier than normal, our testosterone levels are lower than if we were to sacrifice our sleep in the first half of the night or when we first go to bed, if we were to stay up later, it is actually not as bad as if we were to get up early. So that's another reason for why we might have low testosterone levels. Now, the fourth reason for low testosterone levels is dietary factors. Now, there are certain things in our diet that can actually reduce testosterone levels, and there are certain things that we need to get from our diet, such as vitamins and minerals that are required for testosterone production. Now, for me as a nutritionist, this is my main thing, uh, not obesity, not lack of exercise, even though sleep is right up there too. This, I think, plays a very important issue on why we have so low testosterone levels today. Diet. One thing that someone may eat that can actually reduce testosterone levels is soy protein or soy foods. Now, it's been shown that soy is similar in structure to estrogen, and this can lead to suppressed levels of testosterone. All right, I'm going to pause that right there. You hear a lot, especially vegetarians. I just have met a guy today at the gym. Man has gym, Georgia. He's a young power lifter. He never competed, but he wanted to do it. His girlfriend, she does it. I think he's in early 30s. He's starting to experience low uh, energy, lack of energy, focus, drive, motivation. That's all test levels. I told him to go ahead and get his blood work checked, stuff like that. And I can point him in the uh, right direction. You know, a company, if it is, if his levels is low and he's still that young, it's natural supplements that he can take to increase it. I know a good one that I recommend. I probably tag the link in the description below, let y'all check that out. But it is natural routes to do it because I told him TRT, if you're not competing or you need it medically, I don't suggest people doing it. It's, it is a good thing for a lot of men that can help, but why, why are you using them? Because generally it's going to slow down your body and produce its own testosterone since you're getting it from an outside source and you're going to be on that pretty much for life. So it's a lifelong commitment. If you're going to be on a lifelong, hey, there's some good clearance out there and I can re recommend those. But I just tell people DM me a comment or um, send me a question down below and I can reach out to you individually. Age not a number. I know some guys, they 80 years old and only they feel good. They're still working out. It's a guy, he does Stone Mountain out here in Georgia. I think he's 79 and he's shredded in shape um, and don't really work out. He just, he does, he's, he walks the mountain or hikes it. You know, he ain't really running, um, but he's that old and he walks it 
I think he said sometimes twice a day, but at least once every day, that's his routine. And I think it's nothing but like a mile and a half or something from the bottom to the top. Um, if he hitting that stone mountain, I know it's not two miles. Um, and that's his total. And he does, does that every day. He said, you know, maybe at least six days a week, he hit a little sauna or stuff like that. Um, and make sure his diet, he stays still cheats, but, um, it was a white guy. He still cheats and stuff like that. And he looks, I mean, he looked amazing to me. So, um, uh, I was like, age ain't nothing but a number. Um, I met no, another lady. She's, uh, she was diabetic. She was obese. She had heart surgery and I, she started working out and then it became addictive. Uh, I think the heaviest she was like 325 and now she's might be 150, 160. And it took some time, no surgery, stuff like that. Um, she ain't went that route, but she took her time to get it, but she felt in love with it. And once she started building the muscle, she said the fat started flying off, but she stayed consistent. You know, she didn't give up. Um, like myself, being that heavy, I do have some loose skin. I got some fat on me now, but not like I used to be when I did my dirty bulks and stuff like that. This, this one was a cleaner bulk. Um, and I feel way better. And my strength is still good. Um, body composition is still good. Y'all can see I have been posting my little reels. Um, that's my current physique right now. I um, mean, we just starting prep for nationals uh, to try to get this pro card. And I'm going to probably go at it with the young cats. You know, I'm, I could do masters, but either way, we're going to go for it. We're going to, we're just going to see. We're not putting no pressure on ourselves. We're just taking the time by time, staying healthy, focusing on the bases. We got the baby coming on the way. Um, big more Titan, that's his name. Um, so we can, we're just taking it slow, man. I ain't going to try to put no pressure on me because stress is another killer for uh, lowering your testosterone level. So you're in a bad relationship, you um, crazy job and no sleep and not eating well, all that can tear your whole mood and your feeling down, people. So all this stuff goes together. You just got to be mindful that if you're not feeling too good, it's causes for it. And that's stuff that's in your control. So, um, like I say, I tell people all the time, it doesn't, I just break down, I do free consultation. I just break down their whole plan. I'm like, okay, well, tell me what you ate this week. If you can't remember the week, tell me a couple of days of your week and I can point out what you can do and what you can't do to help you improve uh, your daily um, nutrition intake. And as I mentioned before, other things are required in our diet to produce testosterone. If we have a diet that's very low in fat, this can lead to reduced testosterone levels. Also, a deficiency in the mineral zinc also zinc. reduces testosterone levels. And this is because zinc is important in production of testosterone. So if we have a deficiency in zinc, we will have lower testosterone levels. And also... Uh, any deficiency in vitamins E and C also can reduce testosterone levels. And this is because vitamins E and C actually help maintain zinc levels. The fifth reason for low testosterone levels is stress. And this is, again, because of increased cortisol levels. So again, as we mentioned before, mm -hmm. cortisol is a stress hormone. And in fact, increased cortisol levels act on the brain to increase levels of the hormone gonadotropin inhibiting hormone. This leads to reduced testosterone levels. It reduces testosterone production. So stress lowers testosterone levels. The sixth reason for low testosterone levels is alcohol consumption. And this is especially important with consumption of beer now. And beer is a Beer is a yeast. So you can already imagine. Um, just do an assessment qu real quick on yourself. How is your exercise? How is your sleep? Are you drinking alcohol? How is your diet? How is your stress levels? Just doing a week. And then determine how your energy feels. All this stuff is in your control to change. You don't have to let the job stress you out too much. You can control how much sleep you get unless you got like a newborn or something like that. But you can you can prioritize. OK, look, here, I'm going to try to force myself to get one more hour of sleep can make the difference. Or if you can't get to sleep, remove some of the other stuff. OK, well, I'm not going to drink this much alcohol that day. Yeah, you wanted two drinks, get only one. You know, so it's all in that moderation. Everything can make the difference. And it's but you know the long haul, man. You got to think your heart level. We didn't even go until. Uh, high cholesterol, uh, high blood pressure, stuff like that. But all does all this goes into an effect, you know. 
Um, so you got your diet, you got stress, you got alcohol, all that plays a part on your test levels, your uh, HGH levels, which is your human growth hormone levels. Um, they're being, having the ability to grow muscle, to keep off body fat, to um, break down certain foods in your body, to heal, to, you know, to stay healthy, to have good energy, um, for, to have a healthy sex life. Um, you know, people be like, hey, if you don't use it, you, you lose it. That's that's kind of true. But if you don't don't have an active life, your test levels, you know, it's going to kind of start dropping, too, because you're not actively as men. You know, we have to be active in some type. Uh, we supposed to reproduce. That's it. You know, you got to at least have some kind of release in your day to keep your test levels healthy and optimized. That's just your body function. So um, all this does play a play, man. If you got any questions, comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow people. Just ask your uh, nutritionist. Hey, we got a lot. I'm a, not going to post this, my new partner on this one yet, but I will post in another video. Ops in beer are estrogenic. So again, if we have something that's estrogenic, it's going to lead to reduced levels of the use of plastics or avoid drinking out of plastic bottles. So instead, you should try to drink from a glass or stainless steel. A second way to increase testosterone levels is to avoid eating soy products. So avoid eating soy protein, avoid drinking soy milk, because again, soy is estrogenic. Yes. The next thing we can do to increase testosterone levels is to limit consumption of alcohol and in per All right, we're gonna skip a couple of sleep stuff per right night. We but you know, some stuff is realistic and some stuff is not. You know, you can avoid drinking out the plastic bottles, but convenience, you know, you're getting a soda or something like that from the gas station, you're on the road, who's gonna have a glass bottle with them? The soy is easily to do. You know, you can avoid soy, especially for men. Like I say, test is big. Limit your alcohol, You yeah, that's in your control. You can drink more water. You can avoid drinking beer, you know, drink your vodka, stuff like that. Or I know some people who just are beer drinkers. That's why you see most men, they call it what? The beer gut. Because their body now has the estrogen in it. You can't produce more testosterone, so you're gaining more body fat on you. And where it goes to that gut. Come on, let's get it. Uh, sleep in the dark you know i know i do prefer the dark sleeping in there with i got some uh, dark shades in the room and stuff like that but that eight hours is a crucial thing for anybody to try to get if you can get it that's fine but it's gonna be hard for anybody to try to maintain and get eight at least eight hours of sleep lead to lower levels of testosterone another thing we can do is we can increase our consumption of zinc and Zinc can come from a variety of sources. Some of the highest concentrations of zinc occur in oysters. Uh, you can also get zinc from beef mm -hmm. and can ultimately lead to um, healthier, more energetic life. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pause it. I think that's pretty much it. But, you know, you got to ways to uh, 10 ways to increase your natural testosterone levels. You know, you're avoiding the plastic bottles. You avoid eating the soy, alcohol consumption. You eliminate it drinking beer instead of vodka you're sleeping at least eight hours or as much as you can i just tell you realistically you're not getting eight hours unless you're older you're retired stuff like that but eight hours is pretty hard reduce your stress and relax find a hobby do something that actually relaxes you and not just you know you're just sitting there watching tv something that actually relaxes you you can lose weight or I don't, like I said, I don't believe too much in diets per se, but I do believe in portion control, minimizing fast food, stuff like that, preparing your own foods. If you want to eat that type of burger, steaks, fries, do it at your house, you know, use a uh, air fryer, lemon your greases, use uh, sugar-free substances uh, or salt-free substances like the salt, um, Pam. I mean, it's, it's a whole different lot of ways I can tell people. You can eat the same thing in that restaurant, and I can cut them calories in half, and you can have the same thing at home. Come on, people. You know, you just got to be smarter about your own life, man. I, it, you know, it does something to me, and I noticed this when I was coming up, man. I love training. I love nutrition. I love all this and that, and this has been as a nutritionist almost 12 years now, um, training 20-plus years, but it actually physically does something to me when I see my family members or I see friends out there gaining weight 
um, and stuff like that, because it's a struggle for everybody, but everybody's not blessed with having that knowledge of somebody to help them or the stresses get too much and you just gain way bad relationships. It's, it's just our life, you know, and it's not supposed to be easy, but it is better ways that you can take steps to improve your life and improve your health and take it one day by day. You know, you it's no rush. It's, you got plenty of time to do it. It's just when are you going to decide to take that step for yourself? So having that healthy sexual life, you can do that. You can increase uh, your healthy fats, but you still got to be mindful, you know, the almonds and stuff like that. You can overeat those pretty easily, avocados, stuff like that, but increase zinc. That's why they make supplements to help help you because you, you can't do it. But that soy protein, I don't fool with it. Um, I've been um, learning about soy way back in the day. I always tried to limit it, um, and I went from there. So, um, like I said, man, this is um, low testosterone. Um, I, I just partnered with a new company, and I ain't been sponsored in a while. Um, you know, I still support like my six star and my other companies out there. They got some great fitness supplements, but I don't partner with nobody who has like healthy lifestyle supplements. Um, as far as uh, for me and health. Um, stuff that raises your natural levels, stuff like that. But I'm excited for this new journey coming on, and I think I, we can reach a whole lot more men, get them healthier, especially even the younger men. As you can see now, the stats, uh, low test levels, 19 to 39, is increased another 20 percent, and I don't think it's going to get no better. The trend showing is always on a decline, so you're going to see less active men. You're going to see uh, more body fat, more obesity, uh, more death, sadly. Uh, more uh, diseases, everything else. But um, but my, for me, it's my job as a nutritionist. I got to try to preach preach the knowledge, beat it in your head, make sure you get healthier, um, you live a longer life, and just give you the tools that you need. You know, um, It's free to ask a question. It costs nothing to ask a question. Hey, how can I do this? What can I do that? I partner with um, supplement companies who offer everything, apple cider vinegar, powder. They offer all kinds of other stuff. And I do get some stuff and I do reviews on a lot of other supplements. Um, um, like it's a lot of collagen supplements and protein and stuff like that. That really is not collagen, but they use that word to try to get you. It's like regular protein, but they talk calling it peptide this, peptide that. Most of the collagen that used to be um that the bodybuilders take was antibiotics. So it's what natural ingredients like you see the powder and stuff like that. But collagen generally are animal based stuff so a lot of vegetarian stuff like they don't get those because they come from animals and generally it's like i call it the gristle of an animal um it helps can build a connected tissue stuff like that um i think bulk supplements i'm gonna do a review on the stuff they had sent me i don't try it um and so far you know it's feel i'm feeling pretty good i just did my first i'm back in the gym at house i did my first heavy leg day um so today was my second workout which was back today so um, we're gonna see how it goes. Like I said, we just take it nice and slow. But reach out to me, fellas, um, or ladies, if you got somebody you know experiencing these lack of energy, low sex drive, um, gaining weight, um, not being able to build muscle, muscle, or just feeling sluggish, stuff like that, and they don't want to get their blood work. I always suggest anybody consult with your physician. They're gonna tell you the same thing. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I'm doing the nutrition side. Normally, your physicians is not nutritional base on that even though they know the medically stuff they don't know what the root cause is because they ain't gonna ask you the question how your diet is you're just gonna tell them hey yeah i eat okay but you ain't gonna go into details of like yeah i ate out six times a week i only get two hours of sleep like every night i work out once every blue moon that stuff as a nutrition that's your job you got to know that you know because that affect everything that you got going on in your life so Guys, you're trying to boost your nat natural test levels. You're trying to boost your HGH levels. Comment, DM me. Hey, I'm going to be releasing that video with my new partner soon. Hey, I hope y'all out there staying safe, staying healthy, staying motivated. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow people. It's your boy, Cutting That Hey, I hope.